talk to you. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, you did, and I appreciate you coming down, man. Hey, hey I'm Jason. Down, right? I'm Jason. Yeah, Z. 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 So, I mean, guys, we know what they do in there. So, what's the situation? I mean, what situation so bad an innocent baby has to die? That's what we want to know. How can we help? Yeah, we have alcohol abuse. Alcohol, alcohol? Yeah. Who 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 abuses alcohol? Uh, my, my my wife, my now wife. She so alcohol, so, so, so your baby has bad. to die for the sins of his his or her mother. Yeah, and I have we have two children already. So so are you gonna baby. are you gonna kill them too? Who's that? I mean, you said alcohol abuse. Mm -hmm. so you're killing this baby. Are you going to kill those two kids you already have? No, nah, I'm not going to kill it. So the pay, you're saying the baby kids. health is at danger now? Yeah. Mm. So, I had, That's to, what, I had to make the decision because I couldn't, I wouldn't been able to live with it. Because even if I give it away, somebody else will abuse it, fuck the home. That's not true. That's not true. No, it is true. No, it's That's not true. It happens we have, in many we have situations. have a couple people at our church that have been, um, Adopted. Oh, I wish I would have known. I wish I would have known. We, your family, we were trying to call out to you, sir. <laughs> and I have, I, we have personal friends at church that are looking to adopt. They can't have children. But some people that's they want, true. they will not want to adopt a child that's already an invalid like that. You know, some choices. You know. So I mean, what? Yeah. Right? What did the doctor say is going to happen to the child? No, you know, uh, you got, you got a uh, fetal alcohol syndrome. You know, it's, it's it's really a bad situation. You won't want to live with that even consciously. So it's it's, it's you know. It's consciously, it's a tough thing for me to live with, you know? All right. Yeah, and, and what, I know it's going to be on my conscience. I got to deal with God with, with, you know, and I have to deal with it. What about you, sir? Kids, kids are special, man. What's that? Two kids, man. Uh, I already have two kids. You already had two? No, actually, you have three. That one in there, that's a child, too. Are you taking care of the two kids you got right now? And you say it's just, it's just kind of hard for you? Mm -hmm. Well, if times got worse, which they could, would it still be okay for you to kill the children that are living right now just because times are rough and hard? But we are out here to offer help. I mean, we offer help financially. We got a network full of Christians that are willing to help. Yeah. They're willing you, to help. Do you have a brochure? Yeah. Um, yeah. Or something, yeah, because yeah, I definitely... Okay. Yeah, it's Sir, got, it's is it, yeah, what about, what about your church contact? Is it here? My, my email's on there. Yeah, we, can, we have to, yeah, yeah, we can get. Yeah, See that right there? Get, that's okay, my, that's my account. account. Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. You know, the situation has brought you here today. And I respect. I definitely respect what y'all doing. <laughs> Like you know, she probably would have. But since I have an email and all that, you know, I definitely love to join y'all at your church. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, you you know, there is forgiveness in Christ, but at the same time, like, yes, we can't presume. We can't presume on that forgiveness because today could be the last day that you live on Earth. That's true. You know, um, and unfortunately, we take the idea that we can presume upon His forgiveness for later. That's why we try to call people. To, ahead of time, ahead of time and, and warn them of the state that they're in yes and the fact that you know we're all born in sin you know i'm not any better than you jason's not any better than you hannah's not any better than you that's not what it's about but we're just you know the term is it, it's interesting uh the advocates for life well a pastor of mine told me he says we're just other beggars showing other you know we're beggars showing other beggars where to find bread understood we're trying to get a hope that is only found in Jesus Christ. True indeed. I understand. You know, um, and he died for our sins on the cross. Yes. Uh, he took the punishment we rightly deserve True. on our behalf. He paid our fine. And all that we have to do in return is repent of our sins and put all our faith in him. Repentance means turning away from all of our sinfulness and put our faith in what saves, which is Christ. And if we're able to do that, yes. and God grants us repentance, then we have eternal life. And we have that forgiveness. We have that peace with God. But right now, sir, you know, I have to lovingly tell you, you're an enemy of God. Because, you know, if you're not, if you're not living according to, you know, God's laws, yeah. um, and, and you haven't put your faith, which you can't even live according to God's laws, I sin daily. Yes. So, you know, we're in a hopeless state. That's why we come out here to try to not only offer financial help, offer adoption, offer these other services, but most of all, we care about your soul. We care about where you're going to end up if something happens, you drive off and you get hit by a truck driving out. You know, understood. We really do want 
you know, that for you. We don't want, you know, what what would happen if you die and you're not understood. You're not saved. Did you grow up as a Christian? No, I didn't grow up as a Christian. Okay. Yeah. Are you from this area? Um, I live in Atlanta. In the okay. City. okay. Yes. So, yeah. but I didn't grow up as a Christian. But you know, it's not like I don't have the Bible. It's not like I don't read the Bible. It's not. It's not as if I don't understand. You know. Mm -hmm. But you know, and I have gone to church. You know. Yeah. yeah but I've gone to different people's churches. Because I'm always in. You know, you always got to be in search. You know, and you got to be in search of something that connects with your soul and your spirit. Well, I would just encourage you that, you know, anything that you do in this search is based off of the Word of God as your standard and your authority. Because there's a lot of churches out there that will tell you a lot of things. Yes. You know, uh, one, of the, one of the things that I do in my ministry is I reach out to people that are trapped in what's called the prosperity gospel. Are you familiar with that? Joel yeah. Osteen yeah. and Clef, Creflo and Dollar yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of those, people, are, those, are, those are they're the main reason why a lot of people avoid churches. Oh, absolutely. You know, because you don't want to go somewhere where... It's just about people who got money and they showing off and, you know. And but that's not the gospel, though. And, and so, you know, a lot of people do what's called throw the baby out with the bathwater. Because basically they'll say, well, if it's like this here, then it's like that everywhere. I see. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably one of those main type of thinkers, too. Well, you might think that way. And that's yeah. why I'm encouraging you maybe to look at it from a different perspective. Um, there are there are very solid biblical churches out there that really uh, earnestly preach the word of God, and that's a church that you would need to be in. Okay. You know. Um, so where 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 is y'all church located? Well, they're close by. I, Tucker. I'm an hour Tucker away. Church? Okay, yeah. that's not far at all. No. Yeah, I'm an hour away, so you have to make a haul up. Yeah. Well, I have to, like he said, his email his email is right here. And my phone number's on there. And your phone number's on this card. Yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Yeah, and what's your name again? I'm Jason. Jason. Okay, yeah, Z's. I'm Nathan again. Yeah, give me a, give me a call sometime, man. Maybe we can go grab lunch or something. Okay. I appreciate you coming down and talking. We just, you know, we don't support. We can't we can't justify this. Understood. You know, these are innocent babies. And you know what? And the thing is, I understand maybe a doctor told you what they told you, but you know what? Doctors have been wrong before. They've told parents, hey, this is going to happen. This child won't live. This child might have, you know, a certain disability. And you know what? They were wrong. So we need to trust in God. You yeah. trust in God, trust in what He says, and not try to play God yeah. and take an innocent life. True. Yeah, the Bible says don't lean on your own understanding. You know? Now, I don't know how far along you are right now with this. The procedure might already be done. You know, so I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, uh, continue to heap keep shame on you or anything but I mean you know why you came here yeah. and you know what you know what went on what happens and you know that there is forgiveness in Christ and the Bible says today is the day of salvation so you you might want to consider seeking that okay. as soon as possible don't wait because you just don't know I mean people die every day <laughs> that is true you know people That's die true. every day I mean I give you my phone number if you want to call and correspond and talk you know um, but I don't have a card or anything but I can, no, I can I definitely that, uh, do that I put in, um, and I'll be glad to talk. I've been through a lot of stuff too I mean before I was before I was a Christian I mean I was into drugs and selling drugs and all kinds of terrible things man. Yeah. so I mean I, I can relate on certain certain levels depending on people's situations and I'm, I don't know your personal situation your story and we could you know we could just talk about life in general and and, and what's more to life than just this <laughs> this existence you know 100 percent i mean you can come to my house we'll sit and talk have dinner i mean whatever you want to do 